My sperms are bad. I'm sorry to hear that, Cousin Lou. It took a lot of courage for me to come in here today. Usually that's something that I say, but I think it's because he always refuses to wear the apron at the dentist. My reasoning is that aprons are for girls. And it's ironic that in trying not to be a girl, I became less of a man. I'm not an orthodontist, but I wouldn't be too hard on yourself. I have a tendency to do that. I'm gonna do whatever I can to help you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna be a first cousin once removed. Now, before I hand over the Tuka's family jewels to pay for my new testicles, I need to know, you have done this before, yes? This? Lou, I'm offended you even asked. Obviously. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just doing my dude diligence. And Sandra is doing her chick diligence. Now, may we ask, how have your patients fared in the past? My patients? will have done very well. Wait a second, did you just use the future pluperfect? I was a substitute English teacher. Yes, technically, I have not had a patient yet. Okay, Sandra, we're just gonna have to figure out another way to get a baby. Oh, there's that drunk nanny down at the park that always falls asleep. I mean, look, if Mindy can't get someone pregnant. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Um, what if I told you that I got myself pregnant? Yeah, Danny and I are expecting. Wait, you, you were having problems with fertility just like us? Yeah just like you, and now we're doing great. Well, if you could get yourself pregnant, then that's good enough for us, we're in. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, uh, great, my first patient. To think, Dr. Castellano shooting blanks just like me. Yeah. His sperm's no good either. Now, of course, I will have to pay for this in installments, but if it's good enough for the Puerto Rican guy at the couch store, it's good enough for you, I assume. Okay, yes, yes thank you. Bye. Our first patient. Hey. Wow. Come on, come on. Ow, my over ear, here, over my here. ear! Come on, how could you tell Cousin Lou that Dr. C has issues with infertility? When I signed on to be a partner at this practice... Okay, you are not a partner. You are a handyman. And you're not even good at that. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Stop, 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 get off of me! For the last time, you cannot jump into my arms when you're surprised! Okay, look, I can't be party to any kind of deception around here. Okay, yes! I let a white lie go a little too far. Yeah. But Danny never needs to know. Okay, you have to come clean and be mature. Because... Oh my god! Everybody, excuse me. I'm sorry Sorry to interrupt tonight. Just gather around just a minute. Grab a glass. It's a really, really important night, and I just want to say a few words about an honest, hardworking woman. Sorry, excuse me. Hey, hey, you don't need to do this. In fact, I think we should go. This party's lame as hell. Hey, babe, no, 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 no. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the mother of my child, Mindy Lahiri. How she pulled this off all on her own, I can't even conceive. Uh, that was then. You can now. She didn't need me. This all started with this guy in San Francisco. Actually, he was a friend of mine. Oh, God. Very cool. She came back, boom, the seed was planted. Okay, that's good. Um, thank you very much, honey. Those were such great words. Why don't you go wait in the elevator and grab our codes? Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not actually done talking. I just want to say a, a few more things. I'm honored to sit on the sidelines. And I'll sit on the sidelines as she grows and grows, and I watch her, and she's growing. You're a good man. I would like to make a toast. Just pop this out here. Watch out, guys. This thing's gonna pop. Oh. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. It's funny, I just popped a cork and nothing came out. Don't worry, happens to the best of us. To Mindy Lahiri. Salud. Mindy. You want me to say anything else? No, no, that's great. Yeah, thank okay. you. Go right. to the corner, go. don't talk to anybody. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I want to encourage everyone here to, you know, keep to themselves and maybe not talk about things like who impregnated who or who is infertile and who isn't. Mindy said I what? Oh, God. Everything works fine, better than fine, okay? I got her pregnant all by myself. You know what? It was a total accident. Everything I know about your reproductive health is a lie. Okay, that's a little dramatic, Lou. I took a drama class at the uh, Y. Does everybody here want to hear the story of how it happened with me and Mindy? I'll tell you how it happened. It was a beautifully romantic night. He made me a gorgeous candlelit dinner, and then holding my hand, he took my virginity. And that's how I became pregnant with this little guy. No, it was New Year's Eve, Times Square. Mindy and I are there, and I'm feeling good because I just estimated my tax returns. She's got the 2015 glasses on, and she looks hot. Oh. The next thing you know, we're knocking boots under the Lion King billboard. I guess we were a little Hakuna Matata about protection. I should have been more Matata. Oh, I'm going to get a slice. You know what? You're a real scumbag. And that's coming from me. Let's get out of here.